Except for you, have you ever wondered, look, the people who are getting distinctions in high school, what are they doing right that you are doing wrong? There are certain sacrifices that these people are doing, but what are these sacrifices to reap these rewards that they're getting in high school, guys? If you have those questions, this is the perfect video for you guys. Go to your home, Sofa, Kolo, Nick, and if you want to be a subscriber, I'm a follower, guys. Welcome to this amazing YouTube video. Stay tuned, my feet. The overarching theme of this video, but it is simple. Sacrifice what you want now for what you want the most. Don't let it fly over you. It means that you need to know what you want the most so that you can sacrifice what you want now for what you want the most. Buffett, I'm going to give you a list of sacrifices that if you commit to these sacrifices, Buffett, you might reap the benefits that you're looking for. First and foremost, in Fundi, you need to be able to sacrifice popularity in school. Guys, let us face it. Academics are not popular at first. They are not at all. Yes, and you guys end up doing things so that you are known, so that you are admired in school. People look at you like, I want to be like that guy. I want to be like that girl. Because of certain things that you... And sometimes, it's not that you like these things. It's because you're doing them because of the response that you get from your peers. Guys, sacrifice that. Because you'll realize that the fruits that you'll reap is just that admiration from people for things that are often notorious. Things that often don't send you anywhere. They don't benefit you in any way. It's just that moment. Guys, I remember in my school there was even easy as one as Kotane. For those who do not know is Kotane, these are people that show off things that they do not have. Young child, and people would enjoy that. People are throwing the ultra male, wearing a cavella, and people are like, oh, scrappy, yeah. Yeah, we now. Where are those people now? Where are they now, guys? Sacrifice that popularity and focus on your academics. And when the time is right, academics will lift you up. When people are now looking at you, receiving all those awards and wondering, how did you do it? Now they're singing your name. Dam Tizolo, Abba Maxio, Abba Sange Bambo. Abba Sange Bambo, now for real. Because when you were grinding, no one was in your corner. You were not popular. Right? When you are making all these sacrifices in your life so that you can offer your time to academics, no one was understanding. You were not you were not known. But now when you are receiving all those accolades and awards because of your academic success, people know you. That's when the real popularity begins because you are finally working on something that will contribute positively to your future. Number two, Buffett, is that you need to sacrifice habits that do not contribute positively to your academic success. Habits, simply put, guys, are repetitive actions that we do sometimes without even thinking about it. Ne? And sometimes these habits, it's not that they contribute negatively. They just don't contribute positively at all to our academic success. A simple example, Buffett, is leaving school early just to go chill and watch TV at home. What is it doing for you? It's not that it's affecting you negatively. But you could be using that time, putting in an extra hour so that you push yourself academically in Tanam, so that you stay ahead. Can't do anything. You're just leaving. Just to go watch TV at home. Young Tola Buffett. So what you can do for yourself is that understand your daily schedule. Look for pockets of time when you're like, I'm just putting in things here that are useless. Ne? And change those things. How can I use then this time to kind of benefit myself academically? And let go of those simple things that you do that waste your time. Rather, use your time and your habits and your energy to invest positively in your academic journey. And you start small, guys. It's not even that complicated. You start with the little things. But during lunch, I can just spend 15 minutes of my time eating my lunch and another 15 minutes just looking over some academics. Or maybe when the teacher is not there in class, instead of making noise with everyone else, I could just work ahead and study something. Engangeni today. Young Tola Buffett. So think about what habits can I use to replace the habits that are not contributing positively to my academic success. Number three, Buffett, to sacrifice friends that do not share the same vision as you do about your future. Because there's a saying that says that, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. Ne? It is because we understand Ukuti friends and the company you keep determines the character that you'll have. So you can't risk it, Buffett, as a fresh fruit to mingle with rotten fruits. You will eventually rot. It will corrupt your character. 
You will lose sight of your vision. You will lose sight of your dreams. You will lose sight of what is important to you. Rather, invest in having friends that see this vision of yours. Friends that will support you, encourage you when you say, Bafita, I want to study harder. Bafita, I want to reach for more goals. They say, go for it. Let us go for it. How can we help? How can we invest in that dream? Find those friends and invest more time. You don't have to cut your friends off, right? You have to just minimize the time that you spend with them. And to be quite honest with you guys, there are friends that I made when I was still in grade 10 in my notorious era. I was like, these guys are my friends forever. Guys, to be honest with you, I haven't seen them ever since high school. I don't know where they went. I don't know what happened to them. I haven't seen them ever since. And you guys think that just because you're in high school, you're gonna be friends forever. We split in high school and we pursue our individual careers. Right? And the people you thought when I know we're gonna be friends forever, buddies through the struggle. Hey, they disappear. Was Number four, Buffet, to sacrifice this all rounder mentality. Sacrifice that mentality. I know that our teachers they like to encourage it. Oh, sports, your name is there. Chess, your name is there. Debate, your name is there. Class rap, your name is there. When you're everywhere, Tanam. And at the end of the day, you come back and you say, Tam Dizo, how do I balance social life and no in high school? Balance for what in high school? Guys, all those things don't matter when you apply. They don't matter in university. They don't matter at all. What matters is how well did you perform academically. And now, Buffett, you'll find that you have a clear opportunity to do all the things that you wanted to do when you get to university because your future is secure, you're working on your dreams, and everything else that you add on is purely for enjoyment and you do not have to worry. In high school, Buffett, you sacrifice. Allow yourself to sacrifice and find your true joy within your academics. And lastly, Bafundi, the greatest thing that you'll have to sacrifice is your time. It is to say that your life has to revolve around your academics. If you want those high excellent marks, there is no other way. Your life has to revolve around your academics. It's either your academics or nothing. If you really want those marks and you want them that bad, your life has to revolve around your academics and your academics have to be your be-all and end-all. This is not to say, Bafiru, that you'll have a miserable life in high school where now you have no social life. It just means that the joy in academics is quite delayed, right? It starts off with this sacrifice that can be painful because it's like you're pruning yourself and removing certain parts of yourself to align with your academic goals. Now, eventually, as believers would say, joy comes in the morning after a tough night. So academics are like that as well. When you are receiving all those prizes, when you don't have to worry for your bursaries, when you don't have to worry about university requirements, when you don't, you don't worry because you're academically safe because you did that sacrifice. It is because you told yourself, oh, God, you know what, I'm going to deprive myself of momentary pleasures so that I can receive what I want the most. I give a video. This marks the end of the video, but I want you to use this video, guys, to kickstart your year off to a good note. Because at the end of the year, guys, there will be nothing but regrets if you do not make enough sacrifices. Now, when, if you make all the sacrifices that you need, you will not worry about anything. You will not worry about bursary and requirements. You will not worry about institutions and requirements. You will not worry about anything because academically you will be safe. Use this video, Bafeto. And if you've loved this video, like, subscribe, follow Tam Dizo even on TikTok, Bafeto. And please share this video with other people as well. Because remember here, guys, we're climbing this ladder and we're leaving it there for someone else to climb because there is enough space for all of us at the top. Bafeto, if you enjoyed this video, write down in the comment section with Tam Dizo. Welcome back. Tam Dizo, another one. And Tam Dizo will produce another one.